This video covers country screening and selection. Uh, basically, this forms part of our overall segmentation and targeting approach. Um, first thing you really want us to be thinking about is what are the possible countries we may enter. So there's obviously lots and lots of countries there uh, throughout the world, and there's a whole bunch of considerations and factors. Okay, so this we get to the stage where we've got a lot of things to consider, a lot of fors and against, and obviously lots of countries. So the way of getting around this is to construct some sort of simple analytical model. Okay, so we're going to use what's called a scoring model. Scoring models are used in a whole array of assessment factors, not just in marketing. Um, basically, they have two components. One is we list all the factors, we assign a score for important, and we assign a score for, um, in our case, each country we are considering, and we're able to construct a, an overall score. So the easiest thing would be to, to have a look. This is a, a very simple uh, approach. I've only got five factors here. The first column here is the important, so some sort of weighting. I, I've just given a square out of 100 and said that's worth 10, so that's one of the smaller ones. And the two here of 30 are more, most important. Um, and then I've gone through four countries and I've given it a score. So this one A has a big population limited growth, we would need to do, uh, this is a, sort of a negative, so we wouldn't do, need to do much adaptation, very competitive, and logistics is, is pretty pretty good. So what happens is we multiply those two, so 10 times 90 will give us 900, 10 times 10, another 100, and we just add, add them up, and as we go through, we do the same thing. So you can see this country here is a small population, but but big growth, etc. And what we end up with is a whole series of, of, of scores and rankings. Obviously, the, the highest score would be the most attractive, but typically we would have a cutoff score based on our experience and our history. Uh, typically, we have a, 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 the same model being used over and over and over, so it used as a benchmark. So if our cutoff score was, say, 5,000, only this one would be considered. If it was 6,000, none of them would be considered. If it was 4,000, then all of them would be considered. So depending on our, our benchmark. And when we've got two very similar scores, and these two here, we would then say, oh gee, where are they getting the points from? Okay, what's different about them? So you can see here, this market is, is growing a lot more. So it's, gee, that's got growth potential. Um, this one doesn't score as well, so we need more adaptation. Um, but it's got less competition. So it gives us a, an assessment of the various factors as well. I've just whacked them here into, into graphs. And as you can see, that's the important score. And we can just compare the, the countries, big population, little population, etc. Lots of competition, little competition, etc. Um, and then we can just go from there. So basically what happens is we've got whoever we want to look at. We use the scoring model. We go, gee, they look attractive. Okay, they've passed the benchmark. Here, haven't reached the benchmark. Let's look at them down the track. Okay, because things change and opportunities change and our position changes, etc. Um, so these ones we go, we can't do everything at once. So we set a priority, short term, longer term. And then, okay, we've made a decision based on a scoring model. We're going to enter these countries. So then we do the, the segmentation, and there's a video on that. Uh, possible positioning. Um, to what degree do we need to adapt our products? And then we, after we've done those, those three things, we then go back and recheck. Here, it's, 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 a, it's a numbers game. So we go, okay, let's go. So then this is sort of a, the strategy required. So once we've got that strategy re required, we can then recheck that decision. Okay, so if we come back here, 
as I was talking about, we probably need to go back to uh, more market research. There's different ways of positioning, different segmentation approaches, uh, etc. So then we have to sort of uh, map it out. Okay, so that's basically scoring models and country, sc country screening.